Um, it's been so. We probably should have watched this in preparation for this. Yeah, we we usually just go straight off of our memories, which okay, sometimes so, works all right. Sometimes what's the, what's doesn't. What's the closest thing we remember? Probably the fact that. Uh, uh, okay. Kelly, okay. Senator Kelly. Yeah, he he up on the mansion, suffers a little bit, and then dies. I think Rogue, I think literally Rogue just, tries to run away at some point. No, no, first, no, first remember, Rogue sneaks in. I think she's trying to talk to Logan about something, and he's having a nightmare. He wakes up and he oh, straight yeah. up shanks her. Yeah, and then he touched her so that way, like all that, so she could heal, because she also gets like reverts her powers, you know, all that stuff. Yeah, and uh, and all that stuff happens. Yeah, and then she tries to run away because she right. pretty much hurt the only guy she actually trusted. Right, and then I think Logan follows her, and that's when Magneto finds them. And yeah, Logan's what the, like, what what the hell do you want with me? me? You? Who ever said I wanted you? Yeah, exactly. And he's after Rogue. And, and uh, I think it's just to make For, the machine um, work. Yeah, or at least... I can't remember. Okay, hang on, I'm trying to think. I think, because when he used it on Senator Kelly, it really weakened him. Yeah, maybe there were some kinks he had to work out, and Rogue's the answer. Maybe, or maybe just because he's Magneto and he wanted to be evil. Because he also transferred his powers to her, so he, she could actually activate the machine. Should I should I consult Wikipedia about this? Yeah. Okay. Should I uh, should I pause or should should our friends here, our listeners, enjoy me tapping away at Wikipedia? Pause. Yeah. All right. Give us a second. So I did a quick Wikipedia search. Turns out Magneto's plan was to he can't power the machine because it weakens him. So he was going to transfer his powers to Rogue. So that she can power it at the cost of her life. Which I guess, as, I guess he just doesn't give a shit about other people's lives. Which is weird. He's fighting for mutant kind. As the Stop would have said, Dick. Dick. <laughs> so, rally up the X-Men to go save Rogue. And Logan <laughs> says, you people actually go out in these? And Cyclops says, what would you prefer, a yellow spandex? All the fans go, yeah! Duh! Uh... But you gotta, but, I mean, you gotta admit, no, that would look a little silly in movies. To quote that one meme, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so they go to the Statue of Liberty to go stop Magneto, but of course Toad and Sabretooth are there. And Mystique. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mystique. Mystique's awesome. I love, I love Mystique in these movies. She's so badass. Yeah. She's like cool. she has the power too. Like, like just the ability yeah. to turn into anyone. And the way she, the movie make, does it, like it's not just like a like a transition. It's like a like a foot, like a foot, like head to toe, like it's like a scaly thing. Yeah, like flipping the scales, like it's really cool. Makes her like almost a, makes her almost look reptilian, which she kind of already is. And so, and I know and I know a lot of you out there who watch the X Men movies like Mystique for a completely different reason. Get your head out of the gutter. Yeah. Have some respect for Rebecca Romaine. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, that stupid line that Storm <laughs> gave. Yeah, rather she zapped and killed Toad. Which, by the way, played played by Ray Park, Darth Maul. Wow, Darth Maul got the shaft again. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And uh, Wolverine's fighting Sabretooth on the uh, statue. Well, no, first he fights uh, Matt or not Magneto, uh, a Mystique. Yeah. Oh yeah. But she but she's disguised as him. No, it's disguise a storm, and she's like, no, 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 no. First, oh right, he, he fights, fights her. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I disguises forgot. him, and then she fails because I remember she he sliced her claws. Right. Because I doubt she can make she could replicate adamantium like that. She uh -huh. can't. But like, yeah, and then and then later she shows up again as Storm, and then Wolverine. We need to regroup. Yeah, we got one problem. Shank, you're not oh, part of the group. Yeah. Because he he because you know senses. I like, I like when he meets up later with Scott and Jean. He's like, whoa, whoa. It's hey, me. hey, it's me. Prove, Prove it. it. You're, You're a, a dick. dick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go and fight Sabretooth and then get Magneto. Kim gets totally and... owned. Yeah. They fight Magneto. Yeah, of course he loses. Freeze Rogue. But she, but it's like she, but she seems to be dead. So Wolverine hugs her clothes and then he really, she really absorbs him. Like, worse than she's ever done in this movie before. Right. And she, oh yeah, she gets that white streak down her hair from the machine. Yep. Um, and then and later, Wolverine wakes later, up. Yeah. It's like, he's like, and he tells Gene, "You guys stop meeting like this." 
And then later they see Senator Kelly on TV knowing full well he was dead. That's got to be a mistake. Yeah, because they pause it and you see the yellow eyes. Well, yeah, but like, I don't know. Uh, then Wolverine leaves because he's because he's got some business to do up at Alkali Lake, and he gives um, Rogue his tags and says, "I'll be back for these." <laughs> and then he jacks uh, Cyclops' motorcycle. Yeah, where's my bike? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, uh, that's X Men. I can't believe we described that movie in two parts, but it took us six parts to describe Toy Story 2. Well, we remember Toy Story 2 better. Yeah, probably we, we probably. wouldn't do like blatant detail with Toy Story 2. We just kind of skimmed through this one. Not to say that this isn't good, but we just can't remember a whole lot of it. Yeah, because we haven't seen it in a while. We'd probably be able to do X2 in more parts. Oh, yeah. Because this guy over here, he's got an actor who's in that movie who he likes a lot. Don't read too much into it, viewers, okay? I'm straight. And I didn't even say who it was yet. Uh, <laughs> but that will be saved until next time. So what would you rate this movie, Noah? Mm, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10 because it because the effects are kind of dated. The story isn't all that. Yeah. But it's still I still it's still an enjoyable movie. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 just because of McKellen's well performance. Mm, that's true. Yes. And, of course, Sean Luke Picard. Mm, yeah. Name a better um, Xavier and Magneto. I'll wait. <laughs> there are none aside from Fastbender and, Mac and McAvoy, but they don't even come close. Who are close. good? Yeah, they're good, they're but good. they don't come close, man. No. Well, except except when uh, Jenny and I makes that stupid face. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we'll see you all next time. Ching ching. Ching ching. Pukah!